Welcome back to the show. You're watching Summit Sunrise on TV8 Summit. I'm here in the studio with Jim Tillich of the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. Good morning, Jim. How are you Good doing? morning, Tyler. How are you? Always great to see you. And like yours, I enjoy having you come into the studio because we get to talk about some artworks that you, you can experience at the gallery. So you bring a piece of the gallery in here to share with us. It's always a great time to uh, get a little education with it, too. And you brought a couple of pieces in here that are both beautiful, but in their own different ways. Yeah, sometimes it's good to contrast. In yeah. fact, in the gallery, what I do is I'll put a wall of one type of art, a little bit different next to it, still impressionist pieces, uh -huh. but a slightly different type of impressionism. By doing that, the uh, the client will come in and look in a little more quickly. Their eye goes to what way deep inside they really like. Right. Because you can like anything that's pretty, that's painted well. Mm -hmm. But in this case, uh, I have uh, a very bright one that I brought from France, and then I have a very tonal one that I okay. brought from Russia. Great, so from two different portions of the world, and let's start with this one here with the, the, the lady in the rowboat here. Uh, tell me about this, because it's a very interesting piece on the backstory to it. Yes, so that was painted by Katia Pizarro. Okay. Now, as you know, Pizarro is one of the biggest names in art because mm -hmm. in the 1860s and 70s, uh, Camille Pizarro, the, grand, the great grandfather of this uh, family, mm -hmm. began the Impressionist movement. Right. Of course, Renoir actually started it right. with his impressions of sunrise and right. so forth. But the, uh, the artwork that you were looking at was painted by, so starting with Camille Pizarro, he had six sons and a daughter who all painted. Oh, wow, talk about running in the family. Yes, it ran a, and then they had children who painted. So one of them had uh, Claude. Claude married Katia. Katia painted this that you're looking at, and that's their daughter, Lilia, wow. who is also an artist. Great. And Lilia's daughter is an artist. No kidding. So now when you look at that piece of art, what you mm -hmm. see is it's jewel-like. Okay, so tell me what that means. Well, when you'll see that red and green are side by side. In other words, complementary colors, uh, put it more clearly, opposites on the color wheel. Sure. Red, green, mm -hmm. totally opposite. When you put them side by side, they make a jewel look. Okay. Uh, Van Gogh was very, very good at that. If you remember Van Gogh's nighttime scenes or sunshines, right. whatever, yeah. red, green, or other opposite colors, you mm -hmm. know, or complementary colors. Okay. So what you see here is uh, Katia painted her daughter sitting in the rowboat in the same canal or pond-like thing mm -hmm. that her great-grandfather painted as well. They've lived nice. in the same place wow. for five generations. So just a rich family history of artists and their own impressions of uh, the same areas that they've all grown up in. Yes, and, and also what they do is they don't just paint with impressionistic style. They put the brush on the canvas and then move it. So okay. the, the, bre the brush stroke is not square or mm -hmm. anything. They touch it and move it, touch it and move it. Interesting, and they all paint that way? They, most all of them paint most that all. way, okay. yes. Very interesting. It's, uh, it's unusual, but yeah. style. But that's what makes you know, a diff an artist different from the rest. I mean, it's your own style, what you bring to the canvas. Exactly, yeah. and see, that style comes from a mental pattern that you carry with you, mm -hmm. whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. uh, some people want it to be sort of avant-garde and way out there and so forth. Well, that comes from deep inside. Sure. Other artists will paint very structured things. Okay. And that structure also comes from way deep inside. Yeah, yeah. so tell me about this other piece that you brought in here. Okay. Uh, it's also an impressionist piece from Russia, you said. It's from Russia. This is a German baron okay. who came to be a Russian citizen because of the changes that, that war brings and right. so forth. Right. So as a Russian baron, he grew up in, uh, in Russia. As a German baron, he grew up in Russia, became a famous painter, Mm -hmm. And when he paints, what you see is a softness. This man, and I dealt with him for many years until he passed away, was mild, quiet. He and his wife would take a picnic lunch out to the dock or the forest or somewhere mm -hmm. and paint. And he would paint so that he felt good, he felt calm, and he wanted her to like so it very too. therapeutic with his style. Yes. And so when you look at it, what you're seeing is a very relaxed view of boats in the morning, early morning, getting mm -hmm. ready to go out. And uh, I, I enjoy it because it calms me down. 
and I kind of hate to sell it because I don't want to lose the look. Sure. And the same way with the other one, I, I kind of fall in love with my artworks. Yeah. But I'm sure it's easy to do, especially when you have such a hand in picking in what's going to go into the, the fine art gallery. Right. Yeah. So tell right. me uh, where are you located, and uh, we can find all kinds of different uh, in the kinds of kinds of art that we can also find in the gallery. 421 South Main, mm -hmm. right at Main at Park, right at the corner there, and uh, we're open every day, literally uh, 10 till 8. Okay. Or if people come in at 8 o'clock, we stay later. Uh, sure. But we enjoy sometimes in, in kind of the second seating of restaurants, people will come in and they'll right. have a little bit of time, which makes it right. nice. So we stay later. Nice. But we really enjoy it. So right there at uh, Main and Park, and mm -hmm. almost everything I have is based on Impressionism in some way. Okay. Uh, I like the loose feeling of Impressionism. I like the attitude it gives. Because again, art is style and attitude and feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. In a lot of ways, just how you perceive things. It is. Yeah. And it's also why you have to have a variety. Right. So I have uh, a variety, but mainly within that feeling of Impressionism. Great. And again, right at the corner of Main Street and Park, a great location. Two entrances even, so easy to get into. Absolutely. Can, uh, anyone's Absolutely. invited to go in and enjoy it. I do highly recommend it if you are spending some time in Breckenridge. Jim, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for coming in here and uh, sharing some of these great pieces here. So you can see artwork like this and much more, again, at the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. We're going to take another break, and we'll be back with more. I think a look at your snow and weather is coming up, along with uh, more interviews with Scotty Bondo at the Cool River Coffee House and Bakery. We'll be right back after this.